Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to unbox my new printer, a cutting machine, and I will do some paper textings for my stickers. I used to have a printer that used ink cartridges. It ran off ink quickly for color prints, so I decided to get the Echo Tank 2803 printer from Epson. The Echo Tank series printers were recommended by many artists, so I wanted to give it a try. Next is the Cricut cutting machine. I had compared the different models from Cricut. I think the Explore A2 will meet all of my needs. Compared to the Maker models, the cutting speed of the Explore model might be a little bit slow, but this one is on sales. I got it for $169 from Walmart, and it came with the tools and vinyl papers, which is a pretty good deal for me. After setting up the machines, I can scan my sketches with the printer. I have the printing app installed on my iPad. I can view and save the sketches, import them to the drawing app. I use Procreate to create stickers. I have some small details on the edge, and I would like to have a white border around the stickers. I ordered some free sticker paper samples from online labels and sheets labels, and they also ship free. This one is from sheets labels. I requested some sticker papers and some printed sticker samples. I love holographic stickers, but it's a bit challenging to make the holographic stickers at home. Maybe I will order them from a third party print shop if I'm selling them on my SD store. The next package is from online labels. I chose both matte and gloss sticker papers. Each sample came with three sheets and its instruction page. My digital files and papers are ready. I can move on to the Cricut app. Cricut Design Space. First of all, I need to upload the sticker files to the app. Here's a set of 6 stickers. Place them on the canvas. I'm using letter size papers. I can get 2 sets of stickers plus a little cat vampire. Now I'm satisfied with the size and position. 
I can go to the upper right corner and click make it. Continue. Send to printer. My first sticker is coming out of the printer. It's printed on a white and gold paper. The color is a bit tinted. It's like a pastel version of the stickers. Align with the top left corner of the cutting mat. Scan it and cut. It's so satisfying watching the braid cutting around the stickers. The mess lies out once the cutting is done. I'm not supposed to pull the paper like this. As a new user of grid cut, I believe you guys will do the same thing as what I just did. At this moment, as the first sticker print, everything looks good to me except the color. For my second sticker sheet, I make a stupid mistake. I use a laser paper in my inkjet printer. I didn't realize I was using a laser paper until I see the blur sticker. The paper won't absorb ink, and the ink stains my hand and the cutting mat. If you're wondering how the print will look like if you used wrong paper, please look at these stickers. The blue sticker on the right is a sample that used the same paper in a laser printer. Pretty nice quality paper. This paper is called Spectacle White Matte Inject. The color is more vibrant. It's a comparison of white encoded and spectacle white. The paper is thicker and it's easy to pull off from the cutting mat. Then I realized the quick cut cutting off center. And I did a calibration to fix this problem. If you would like to watch a tutorial on this, I will upload the calibration video very soon. The problem is fixed after calibration. Look at the before and after. The color on recycled paper is a bit darker because I changed the previous setting on the printer. My first glossy stickers are printed on white gloss inject paper. The color is impressive. It looks the same as the color of the digital files.
This one is clear gloss inkjet paper. Look at the reflection on the paper. The ink is not completely dry. I let it sit for a few minutes, then process cutting. I was so excited to try this paper, but it was very sad to see this happen. I was organizing the stickers. Then I found the ink of the snake smudge off onto the paper on top of it. It reminds me when we are choosing inkjet papers, we should also pay attention to the ink drying speed. Without the white background. The sticker is semi-transparent. I stick them to different colors of surface. They look good on light colored papers, but not dark ones. The last paper I use is weatherproof gloss inkjet. When I did the research on sticker paper types, weatherproof papers were strongly recommended. Looking at the actual stickers on my hands, I finally understand why this material is so popular. The paper holds the inks very well, dries fast, and the glossy max surface protects the stickers. This is the best glossy sticker papers I found in this testing. I put the stickers on my sketchbook, use the same lighting, and shoot them from the same angle. You can see the color difference. I put all of the snake stickers together. The last two stickers are printed on glossy papers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had lots of fun doing the paper testing. I will keep sharing sticker making experiences with you all. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next week.